So this box is made of PVC, very tough material, and it can be disinfected easily. It's non-porous and it won't splatter or break. Here you can see another type of hay box. The principle is exactly the same. The only difference is these are fixed, so if you move, you can't take them with you. Step number one, making a box. Of course, you can also buy a box that is already ready, but if you need specific dimensions, then you will have to do it yourself, like in our case with the miniature horses. The different pieces are the side panels, which you will cut to the size that you need, and then you have these corner pieces, and I'm going to show you how they fit into each other. And you can see all you need to do is slide in the panel like this and there you go and then you would slide the next one on top of it hmm. step number two you have to fix the box to the floor because these boxes are lightweight horses will push them around if they're not fixed to the floor so we have used this piece to screw them to the floor. Sorry for the dirt, this is a used box, so if you can, don't choose a white one. <laughs> it's two pieces on each side, and this makes it extremely sturdy. You can see I'm pulling really hard on it, and it does not move. Next part, putting together the frame. The frame must be exactly the size of the inner dimensions of the box, so that there's no space between the frame and the margin of the box. The pieces that you need are PVC tubes, like these, and then to join the pieces, these ones. So all you have to do is put these together, click, and that's it. Then you take your net, and ideally you will choose the width of a tube that will exactly be the size of the hole of the net, so you can thread the tube through the net and this is going to make it really really resistant so even when the horses pull a little bit or step on it it's just not going to move anywhere so you can see it's threaded all the way through totally safe horses cannot get their foot caught anywhere next thing one trick very important since you don't know how much you need to slow down your horse until you figure it out. You try it on your horse and you see how it's responding to free choice hay in these slow feeder hay boxes. Is start with a net that has a little gif in the uh, on the frame. So use a width that is a little wider than your frame. So you have, as you can see, this movement here because that makes it a little bit easier for the horses to pull out the hay. The tighter the net is on the frame, the harder it becomes to pull the hay out. So if you start with the net a little more loose, and then you see, oh, it is too loose, they're eating too much, then all you need to do is take some cable ties. And here I have them ready. You take some cable ties. And with your cable ties, you just go and tighten your net a little bit. Put a cable tie here, next one here, next one here. Fixing the frame to the box. We have used the cord. Since it's inside the box, horses can't reach it and can't get themselves into trouble. And we just have made two holes at the bottom, thread through the cord and made a knot. Last step. If you live in a very humid climate, you might need to put some sort of separation on the floor so that the hay is not directly on the floor absorbing humidity. We have used wood, but we also use these plastic pieces that you can buy ready. And um, if there's any humidity, it will be underneath and not in your hay. Want to make sure that even when the hay box is almost empty, every single horse can eat comfortably without the upper board of the hay box slamming into the table like this. If you try this, it's really uncomfortable. And this hay box has been designed for miniature horses so that even foals can eat comfortably. If you have large horses, you will scale it up as you need. Safety features for hay boxes. Your frame must fit into the box really snugly. You want to make sure that there's no space between the, the border of the frame and the box. Make sure that the netting that you choose has holes that are always smaller than the smallest hoof in your herd. Put the frame on top, like this. Then I have one string here 
and with a hook on it, well, a close to, you can see the way it looks, and I thread it through the mesh a few times, so there's really no space in between where they can get a foot cord in case they paw or do anything crazy they like doing, and voila, that's it.